What's cracking YouTube? My name is Brody and welcome back to another Pokemon trading card game opening. And if you guys have not seen part number two of this opening, make sure you do. Part number two was hype. Hashtag hype. It was so good. Um, the pulls were just there. It was just insane. But yeah, it's time for part number three of this Ancient Origins booster box opening. This is box four of my case that I'm doing. And this is also going down in a 46 opening spree. I can't remember what opening it is. Uh, but I'll, probably, I'll most likely have a link to the playlist in the description. But yeah, we're going to crack into another 9 packs in this part. And just one more. I'll fix up that. And get cracking. If you'd like, if you're new to this video and you'd like to see a slower version of this opening, uh, go check out box 1 and 2 of my Ancient Origins case openings because I did slow things down a little bit more I said all the card names and yeah it was all it was all good fun and the pulls were there like I know what they did with the pull ratios in this set but it's been good I've been really enjoying um, every single box I've opened I've had um, a couple of issues in the past uh, mainly my flash fire days when I was opening up flash fire obviously not on YouTube but um yeah had a couple of issues with that set because I didn't I didn't actually buy a sealed case of that I um, bought boxes individually I need you in reverse dude um, yeah I was buying boxes individually and I think I bought like three boxes that had like um, four ultra rares in them which is pretty like uh, it's not bad, but it's it's not good. I think one of one of the boxes I bought had three ultras, which is like under ratios, under the expected. I think four would be a minimum, the minimum you'd expect from a whole th like booster box, 36 packs. But I'm guessing, oh, it's the Charizard set, so let's knock down the pull ratio on the Charizards. So that was that was fun. Curly reverse. And a Porygon Z holo. Cool. I love it. this whole card is just hollow. It's it's pretty sweet. And just look at that eye. Boing, wing, 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 wing. <laughs> mm, that's what I think. I just think of like a spring. Just boing, 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 boing. Imagine that, a spring hanging from Porygon Z's eye. Come on. The duck. The duck Porygon Z. But yeah, we're already, already into pack number three, so we're, we're kicking off strong. So we're about three minutes into the video and we're on pack number three, so that's always a good start. It's always a good start. So we got a Magikarp, Flash Energy, and Unknown. Just backtracking. <laughs> we got Blossom, Hex Maniac, Lysander Reverse, not bad. And an Entei, regular rare. It's not bad art. I don't mind that one. Definitely not as good as the Ancient Train Ento, but yeah. I've noticed like as as the sets go up, uh, Pokemon's really been improving their art game. I've really um started to really enjoy looking at the art and admiring the art more so than um kind of just glory hunting. I usually I'm I'm like a glory hunter pretty much. It's just like. I love to pull the EXs, like everyone. Everyone loves to pull the Ultra Rares. And that's just, that's just how it is. Kind of ruins, uh, it's not really like ruining the fun opening up cases, but um, it's like the chance. It's like buying a lotto ticket and then having that chance of either failing or getting something really good. Like if you get it in the shops and just pick up one pack, it's so much more I don't know, you get so much more out of it. The thrill is just there when you do it, um, just randomly pick one pack out of a, out of a box at a shopping center. Or in a blister. Blisters, blisters have been a little bit strange. I have always wanted to do like a, um, comparison video, like buy 36 blisters and then open up a booster box, um, of the same set and do some sort of like comparison opening. Let me know if you'd like to see that in the description, in the comment section below. And um, I might look into 
seeing what I can do, see if I can head down to the shops and sort something out with the guys down there. Because here in Australia it's pretty hard, like I buy the, um, I buy all my cards from America at the moment because I haven't been bothered to go down and see what our a distributor, uh, the Australian distributor for Pokemon cards is actually Banter Toys. So there's the code for that one. Yeah, it's Banter Toys. And I need, I might need to talk to one of the guys there and see what I can do so I don't have to uh, buy from overseas because postage is a little hefty. It's about 50 US dollars in postage to get these cases over here. But it's still cheaper than going down to the shops for sure. For sure down here. Not even bad. I didn't even expect that. But we got Sceptile. That's pretty cool. Sceptile EX. So that's the first I've seen of him. So what do we got? We got Sleep Poison and Unseen Claw. So that's cool. I, I do like that. I, I love how like the claw is just like almost diving out of the card. It's like grabbing you right now. That's sweet. And I um, actually needed that one for my set too. So that's it's another good thing. So um, this this box is really bringing up the positivity. Hey, the hype is real right now. It's good for the set. It's good for the set. I'm really enjoying opening up this box. But yeah. But yeah. Alrighty. So we got Beldum. Gumi. Inke, Persian, Lysander, Eridos, Livable, we got Gumi Reverse, and we got a Gardevoir Hollow. Not bad. Not bad at all. Second last pack of this part. So this part's been pretty sweet. I wouldn't really expect anything too more out of this, because nine packs, they're pull ratio is about one in three packs so we've already pulled three um, th three hollows so far in this part so oh, if we get anything else in this part I'd be very uh, very surprised just breaking down the math for you guys trying to be all smart and stuff I'm not really I'm not really but we got spinner rack and we got registeel and the final pack of this part, we get the Primal Groudon. See if we can get some Primal Power. Still hunting down that Primal primal Fish, as the Pokemon Evolutionaries would say. Or N, from the Pokemon Evolutionaries. But yeah, we're looking for that um, shiny Primal, primal, primal Kyogre. For the set. So we got Vaporeon, we got a Reverse Hollow Rare Volcarona, and a Claydol, so that's sweet, we'll throw that one up the back. And yeah, so that's the, actually that was the last pack, I forgot, <laughs> uh, good on me. Cool, so to recap this part, we got these suckers right here. Um, let's let's sort these out a little bit and then we'll get a bit of a close up on the artwork here. So we got the Reverse Hollow Volcarona. We have the Hollow Gardevoir, Hollow Porygon Z, and the ultra rare highlight of this part is the Sceptile EX. Cool. Alrighty, so if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Let's try and get this video to five likes if we can. Uh, let, let me know in the comment section below what you think of my openings. Um, I'd much really appreciate the feedback. And subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in part number four. Peace.